Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Agla Same Schools. So today we are going to discuss the solutions for chapter number 12 of NCRD class 7th science book. Name of the chapter is reproduction in plants. In this chapter we shall study about how the plants reproduce and what are the different modes of reproduction in plants. Well, I guess you all must be well versed with the chapter by now. So, let us quickly proceed towards the NCRD questions and their solutions. Question number one starts with an exercise which includes fill in the blank type statements. Here, we will fill in the blanks with the correct answers for all those statements. Part number A Production of new individuals from the vegetative part of parent is called dash. Answer is vegetative propagation. Part number B A flower may have either male or female reproductive parts. Such a flower is called? Answer is unisexual flower. Part number C. The transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same or of another flower of the same kind is known as? Answer is pollination. Part D. The fusion of male and female gametes is termed as? Answer is fertilization. Part E. Seed dispersal takes place by means of answer is wind, water and animals. Moving on to question number second which says describe the different methods of asexual reproduction. Give examples. There are several methods of asexual reproduction such as fragmentation, budding and spore formation. So starting with fragmentation. Fragmentation. In the presence of water and nutrients, algae grows and multiply rapidly. How? It actually breaks up into two or more fragments. These fragments or pieces then grow into new individuals. This whole process is termed as fragmentation. Next, budding. The small bulb-like projection coming out from the yeast cell is called a bud. The bud then gradually grows and gets detached from the parent cell and forms a new yeast cell. Next, spore formation. Spores are asexual reproductive bodies. Each spore is covered by a hard protective coat to withstand unfavorable conditions such as high temperature and low humidity so as they can survive for a long time. Under favorable conditions, a spore germinates and develops into a new individual. Plants such as moss and ferns reproduce by means of spores. Next, vegetative propagation. It is a type of asexual reproduction in which new plants are produced from roots, stems, leaves and buds. Since reproduction is through the vegetative parts of the plant, it is known as vegetative propagation. For example, potato plant sprouting from buds. Question number three. Explain what you understand by sexual reproduction. Answer would be As we know, flowers are the reproductive parts of plants. Sexual reproduction is something where reproduction of plants takes place with the help of seeds. In sexual reproduction, a male and a female gamete fuse to form a zygote. Later, this develops into an embryo. Question number four. State the main difference between asexual and sexual reproduction. Answer. In this question, we need to state main differences between asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. So, differences in both are as follows. Number one, in asexual reproduction, plants can give rise to new plants without seeds. Whereas, in sexual reproduction, new plants are obtained from seeds. Second, in asexual reproduction, only one parent is needed, whereas in sexual reproduction, both parents, that is male and female part of a plant, stamen and pistil is required for reproduction. 3. In asexual reproduction, the new plants are exact copies of the parent plant as they are produced from a single parent, whereas in sexual reproduction, offspring shows variation in respect to parent plant. Next, question number fifth says, sketch the reproductive parts of a flower. And here, we have this ready for you. Do make a well-labeled diagram similar to the diagram given below. Question number six, explain the difference between self-pollination and cross-pollination. 
Answer. The transfer of pollen from anther to stigma of a flower is called pollination. When the pollen lands on the stigma of the same flower or another flower of the same plant, it is called self-pollination. And when the pollen of a flower lands on the stigma of a flower of a different plant of the same kind, it is called cross-pollination. Question number seven. How does the process of fertilization take place in flowers? Answer. As we have studied about male and female reproductive parts of a plant, where male reproductive plant is called stamen and female reproductive part is called pistil. Stamen have two parts called anther and filament. Anther part of stamen further produces pollen grains, which then produces male gametes. Whereas pistil, the female reproductive part of plant, contains three parts, that is stigma, style, ovary. Ovary contains one or more ovules. The female gamete or the egg is formed in an ovule. Now, when pollen grains fall on the stigma part of the flower, the pollen tubes generate and they run down the style to ovary. The pollen grain, male gamete, fertilizes the ovary, the female gamete and form a zygote. The entire process is termed as fertilization. Now, moving on to question number eight. Describe the various ways by which seeds are disposed. Answer. In nature, the same kind of plants grow at different places. This happens because seeds are disposed to different places. Seed dispersal is aided by wind, water and animals. For example, wing seeds such as those of drumstick and maple get blown off with the wind to far away places. Some seeds are disposed by water. These fruits or seeds usually develop floating ability in the form of spongy or fibrous outer coat as in coconut. Some seeds are disposed by animals, especially spiny seeds will hooks which get attached to the bodies of animals and are carried to distant places. In addition, some seeds are also disposed when the fruits bust with a sudden jerk. The seeds are scattered far from the parent plant. Question number nine. Match items in column first with those in column second. Now, part number A, bud, matches with third part, yeast. Part number B, ice, matches with part number fifth, potato. Part number C, fragmentation, matches with part number two, spirogeria. Part number D, wings, matches with part number one, maple. Part number E, spore, matches with fourth part bread. Now let us move on to question number 10. Question number 10 says, tick the correct answer. Here we have to choose and tick on the correct answer for the following statements. Statement number A says, the reproductive part of a plant is the answer is part fourth flower. Statement number B, the process of fusion of the male and the female gamete is called Answer is part number one, fertilization. Statement number C, mature ovary forms the answer is part number four, fruit. Statement number D says a spore producing organism is answer is part second, bread mold. Statement number E, bryophyllum can reproduce by its answer is part number second, leaves. So guys, this was all for this chapter. Hope you liked the video and if you did, then don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. If you still have any doubts regarding the chapter, then feel free to ask us in our comment section below. And yes, do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more NCRT videos of other subjects too. See you soon. Bye-bye.